Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Just getting comfortable. Yes, that's right. Everybody was saying that they love this dream catcher. Yes, well, it is beautiful. <laughs> it's my own personal design dream catcher. I had these made uh, with a beautiful family in uh, Bali and they handmade all of these. And this is like the tree of life. And as you can see here, there is uh, amethyst little crystals that I worked on before they received. Um, the design so basically what i did was i prepared the design told them how i wanted it what um kind of material i wanted and uh, they did it beautifully they've done it great and their little amethysts they're put in there which were worked on me for many hours so yeah they are gorgeous and many people say that they love them oh do you want to see the view today where i am today there you go just a lovely little lake in the middle of the mountains isn't that divine is that beautiful Okay, I had breakfast this morning, it was beautiful. Somebody says, what are you doing in a van? And then somebody says, what are you doing on a train? <laughs> no, 53 years of dreaming of a little boy when we used to go to Poland in the mobile home, uh, Volkswagen Caravanet. Uh, I dreamt of having one one day, every day actually. Um, <clears throat> often was said that Mark's head only turns when he sees a mobile home and not a beautiful lady. It's true. <laughs> It's taken 53 years, but I've got my beautiful eye turner and head turner. Whoa! <laughs> She's here, and so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm driving through the countries and enjoying the uh, simplicity of life. Basically, picking up fresh, uh, finding a beautiful place, going to the local um, uh, organic market, wherever it may be, picking up fruit and vegetables and some fresh bread from the uh, the, the bread shops, and then coming back uh, here, and then, yeah, just relaxing working on uh, Matt Bayeski online uh, course first one ever and that's like it's unbelievable it's going so well at the same time as I'm working on crystals at the back here so yeah I'm busy all day I'm busy with many things and answering emails and making sure that everybody uh, receives um, a crystal who can't afford one right now who's going through depression and uh, sadness and uh, physical pain as well I didn't mention on my last video and I should have done silly me that I talked on the last video if you go to the last video and watch it it's about um, uh, microwave uh, and all the energy uh, soup that we live in and that it's affecting a lot of people with headaches uh, nosebleeds all sorts of horrible things pains in the arms from working on the computer but uh, you know even children are going through a lot of uh, trauma at the moment um, bad headaches is one of them so if your children are getting headaches make sure you look around and find out if you're um, five you know, five is on if it is uh, if it's around you somewhere then you know what the you can either make a complaint to your local government or you can move <laughs> move to somewhere where there's no 5g <laughs> yeah i said it <laughs> yeah to finish that little topic of conversation off because mark always flies off somewhere else in his head um if you do truly feel as if you're suffering from any of those things that I've just mentioned in the last video, then go to info, that's I-N-F-O, at markbayerski.com. Send a message and simply say um, the word headache. Now, only do it. Only do it. Oh, and after headache, just put your full name and address because I'm not that psychic. OK, if you do that and if you, you're doing it from a pure heart and you mean it because you can't literally afford a crystal at all, then um, I'll get one sent to you. OK, promise. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we you know, this isn't bragging or anything, but we're up to 2000 crystal giveaway now. So we hope to um, do that every year. So that's a, a lot you know to say how many people watch these videos and who are at a place where they haven't got anything so as long as um my business does well um that's always something that i'll do from my heart to yours always even if my business isn't doing well i always do anyway but you know what i mean it's a kind of universal exchange when people who want to buy a crystal decide to because it's their own power decide to instead of shopping at ebay uh, shop at markbyeski.com then you know 
I do my best. Uh, last month we we did, in one month we did 300 giveaways, and that's pretty cool, you know, to wrap and pack 300 giveaways and um, ship them freely. It's pretty cool, as well as buying the crystal and working with them. So. I th I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of what we're doing at MattBayeski.com, and the staff are buzzed up because they love it. And also, one of the staff members is uh, using singing bowls to also generate amazing energy before it gets sent to you as well. So we really are putting extra effort and love into this uh, project, which um, is something that we're going to have to face when the tax man um, uh, meets us at the end of the year which it's something I'm gonna have to be prepared for because the tax man does not like you giving anything away and that's the bottom line but then again that's the system for you it's evil so I'm drinking my coffee um, just said hello to my son had a chat with my son and that was just a message that popped up that says my accountant <laughs> wants to talk to me tonight at six okay then <laughs> oops <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen guys it's not a good idea if you've got a business to give away things um it really isn't because the tax man is, is going to come on to you he's going to come and yeah he doesn't like you giving away his money so yeah what what should we do i don't know i think we should do something Well, the music's playing and um, we've just created um, some beautiful music on um, the the YouTube channel we've just created. Maybe that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, there's, uh, there's lots of people walking past, but it's okay. It's nice. The family is going out. Look, no masks. How dare you have no masks on, people? <laughs> you granny killers. <laughs> yeah, the system loves to target people and hate and want to want people to hate each other right that's what the system does you hate each other when you hate each other you're not you're not pointing your eyes at the direction of the all-seeing eye eh where do you think lord of the rings came from okay so yeah let's do this we all need a bit of healing and this is something i do uh, generally through the week and it's self-healing so let's do that shall we we'll do self-healing so okay so just so you know uh, what should I do? Okay, I'll put the link um, below so you can quickly go to the link and click it and play the music and may, are you able to do both? Maybe not. Anyway, whatever, but if you can, if you can go to the music and click it, there's a link underneath here and it will, it's all free. This is for you to go to um, the Pure Energy Healing Academy we've got um, a YouTube channel now and we've put two pieces of music on there purposely first piece of music is for a healing session these are for healing sessions but also you can heal yourself at the same time and what you do is you put the music on watch the screen as well as uh, heal yourself and just just take in the the images and the words okay so uh, the three hour one is brilliant so try the three hour one as well Okay, so I'm going to put the music up a little bit and talk you through it. Okay, okay, come on then. Let's get on with it then. Okay. You need to get comfortable first of all because you're going to do, first of all, scanning. Okay, scanning means that you're going to feel your body with one of your hands, whether it's the left or right hand. First of all deep breath through the nose and exhale through the mouth if you've got a mask on take it off you cannot heal yourself when you're cleansing and clearing from your mouth it has to come out all the toxins as you go into a state of peace a state of tranquility your body then becomes the most perfect healing tool ever that's why when you meditate your body is at its most powerful to heal itself so therefore it makes sense when your body is healing within, it needs to release the toxins and all of that energy which needs to come out of your mouth. So if you're wearing a mask, it'll just go straight back in there and cause more damage and harm. So take your mask off. You have my permission. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Another deep breath through the nose. Hold. Release through the mouth. 
slowly. Breathe it all out. Hold your breath. Breathe through the nose. Hold your breath. Release through the mouth slowly. Good. Okay. Whichever hand you feel comfortable with for receiving. I'm using my left hand for receiving. I'm going to place my left hand in this position onto my knee while I'm sat down. If you're laying down, put your hands down by your sides, but always make sure that your beautiful cup hand is receiving the energy inside that way. If you turn it that way, it does work, but this way seems to, you can feel it more. So then you can generate that energy within you more. The more you feel, the more you realize, wow, this is working. And thus your body clears away fear. So this is a great move. The Buddha, uh, Jesus, all of those images that you see, they've always got this hand out and this hand this way. One for receiving, one for blasting the energy out. Okay, so good. So now you've got your hand ready. All I want you to do now is simply close your eyes and slowly move your hand about three inches away, two inches away from your face and move it slowly in any position you want. Soon as you feel any kind of feeling, pain, un uncomfortableness, stay where you are. So as I went to here, I could feel a pain at the top of my back of my head. So I'm going to leave my hand here. So this is scanning, but at the same time, you're healing. So it's a dual energy. As I keep my hand there, I don't look for anything or try to feel anything. I simply leave it there, but I use the breath of life to breathe in. Hold my breath. And as I breathe out through my mouth, I am blasting an energy through this hand, which is healing whatever block or issue is within my head. Once that feeling has gone there and nothing else is feeling weird or strange or unusual or painful, then I move on. There is no rush. If you feel your hand getting very, very hot in a certain place and you move away and then it goes a little bit cold again, you go back to the same place it feels hot, another good sign that healing needs to take place there. So when I went here, I felt uh, uh, the feeling of my teeth grinding, which they were, and I didn't realize. So now I've released my, my tension of my jaw and I can feel it because my hand told me so. So where this is here is causing issue because my jaw is being too tense. No matter how I put my body and my hands, I'm doing it to get comfortable. So if you see me doing silly things, moving around, it's only because I need to be comfortable. If you're uncomfortable, it doesn't work because you can't feel what you need to feel. If you're comfortable when you're doing this, so even if you go put your hand down, your elbow down and do it that way, that's another good way. If you feel super amazing, like just here, I felt uplifted, really uplifted just by keeping my hand there for a few seconds. I felt really uplifted, like I felt a lot of surge of energy within and then stay right there and keep that feeling. Hold it there if it's there, stay with it and work with it. Feel what it was, what you felt. Is there anything? I can't feel anything that it, that was meaningful, but it was a wonderful feeling. So that's good. And it's gone now. So I'm moving on now. But it's really important that you talk to your intuition. So I know right now that my throat is kind of... Um, it feels like I've talked too much, which doesn't shock me at all. So I'm going to 
hold my hen hand under my throat for a short moment and just leave it there. Again, when you feel the need to stay somewhere, deep breath in through the nose and I'll explain afterwards why. Hold. Blow out through your mouth. In fact, I'll explain to you as I go along. When you breathe in, you're breathing in the universal energy through the hand that you're asking for help. When you breathe out, at the same time, that universal energy that comes through your body goes through the other hand and blasts you with that very same energy to heal. So that's why the breath of life is also receiving and giving. It's incredible. Again. There's so much more than what I'm telling you. And I could explain all day, it would take four days, it would be a pure energy healing four day course to explain all of this, but if you got it, if you truly understood every single aspect of what I'm saying, you would never, ever doubt your power, doubt the power around you and within you. You would never doubt it ever again, you'd know how powerful you are. Okay, that's really weird because as I just shifted to, to the side of my neck, my nostril, my nose went intensely uh, open. Like, like I could breathe so much easier. So I'm going to stay here for a few moments. So whatever's happened is healing um, my nose way. So unblocking whatever it was in. And when I talk about that, it's not always physical. It's also spiritual. Sometimes you can have heavy energy in there. So the energy can block your nose and you didn't even know. Wow, my nose is cracking. I can hear it going just by my hand being here. Quite intense. Deep breath. Hold. Blow out through your mouth without your mask. Jesus Christ, can you imagine for the rest of our life we're going to be talking about a mask if we allow this to continue. The world has gone mad. Okay, now I'm moving down my body, but all of a sudden, instead of going scanning down my body, for some reason I feel as if I've got a pain right down by my stomach, left-hand side. So I'm going to follow that pain and place my hand right there now and just leave it where that pain is, okay? I'm gonna take a breath. If you've got a pain somewhere or an issue or any thought or feeling or anything in your body, a tingle, an itch, an exciting feeling, go to that place and place that hand right there. Again, deep breath. Hold. Blow out through your mouth. Now I'm moving up to my head because I felt a sharp pain in my head. Deep breath again. Hold. Release through the mouth. Moving around to my eye. I felt a twing, like a tingle in my eye, a heavy pain. Deep breath. Hold, release through the mouth. That's gone. Throat's good. Okay, if you're not feeling anything, go straight to the heart. Hold your hand on the heart and take three deep breaths out, in and out and you're blasting energy to the heart, which is strengthening it. Okay, so when you're ready, go.
I'm now going down to the stomach where the emotions sit and I'm just going to gently rub my hand side to side of my belly and if you can feel your you'll feel your belly going whoop or wobble wobble which is a good sign as soon as you hear any rumbles or anything, just stay right where you are. Stay there wherever you feel anything. Okay, I'm staying right there now. Deep breath again. Hold. Release through the mouth. Oof. There's some emotions in the stomach. Again, breathe. Hold. Release. I'm keeping my hand where it is, and just receiving the healing as it flows straight through. If you find yourself yawning, it's because you're in a state of healing and relaxation go with that release because it is your beautiful body releasing through the yawn not because you're tired it's just a release if you have hiccups if you're sneezing if you're coughing like mad all beautiful signs of healing taking place the body releasing I'm now told to go back to the heart just because I could feel the heart saying I need a little bit more healing just a little bit below the heart actually Wow feels like there's a knot inside there here so I'm just gonna focus and allow that knot to unknot because it's not very nice. Wow, it's burning. Feels like I've got um, heartburn, which it isn't. It's the body healing. Deep breath. Release. Oof, wow, amazing. Again, hold, release. Now I'm told to go back down to the stomach again. pain in my head now sharp pain like somebody stabbed something in my head so I'm back up there now and hold my hand there if you want to get closer to your head is fine so I'm just like half an inch away from my head deep breath hold release through the mouth I tend to do this when I'm healing and cleansing I breathe through my nose and I count to three I hold my breath and count to three I release through the mouth and count to three I hold my breath for three 
and repeat. Good, that's gone. Go to my knees. Down below my private parts. Just check all around there. All good. And down to the knees. It's always good. Wow, sharp pain in my head again. Back up. Sharp pain near my third eye right hand side of my eye just above good it's gone I'm going to go to my, go down the other side and then to my other knee. Down to my foot. So I'm just going back to the left foot and just hold that there. And now I feel a pain in the back. I'm going to put my hand to the back now. Again. Use the breathe. Breathing technique. It's gone. I'm going to go down to my other foot, past my knee. At any point I feel anything, I will focus on that. Again, another pain on the other side now. So, at my back, doing the same again. Deep breath. Hold for three. Release. That's gone. When you scan your front, it goes straight through to the back, so you don't have to worry about going to the back too much. Okay, that's great. So, that took us, what, 10, 15 minutes to scan the body? No big issue on my body, which is great. A little few blocks here and there predominantly in the head which makes sense because the head is really where everything's happening right now with the world going mad and uh, yes a heart needs blasting makes sense because we're feeling people's pains and the shock of all the lies that are happening in this world sits in our stomach so that's the emotional shock we cleared that away a little bit of pain in the back which we worked on and didn't take long for it to disappear so come back how are you how did that go for you it's really simple and it's something that it's it's something that should be taught in schools um if every school taught this as a child and people learn to do that as part of um just to feel their body you would be so shocked how the world would heal be able to heal themselves because this is an activation and it activates your um beautiful uh, hand that is being given to you which is connected to the universe and the energy in there yes i'm in a good place because there's no 5g towers anywhere around which means that i am in nature you know look you can see nature there look at nature two swans that's my sign today i got two swans so that's i'm going to find out what that means okay so two swans have just turned up they've flown in so these are the signs and Mother Earth gives us what uh, we need. It's beautiful. It's healing. And then you're able to, hang on a minute, I can feel certain things on my body. And thus, when you become a healer and you learn to really 
understand healing at its best and there's many courses you can go to in the world many mine is just one of them but there are thousands all over if you find a good teacher who's been doing the work for 10 20 years then you know that if they've actually done the work not just read books but actually been in um, a room for years and years and studied healing and understand it then they're the teachers you should be going to not people who have just read a book and, and sharing information you need to really speak to the heart if you want somebody to carve a beautiful sculpture for you you go and find a guy who's been carving day in day out all his life right same thing so you need to learn from people who truly understand the art of healing through experience so when you grasp that experience when you understand it and after four days of working alongside me and I'm not promoting my my online course in in much as come and do it you can go to any course but always bear in mind that the course you go to you make sure that the teacher who's teaching you is somebody who has spent decades and decades at it if you just if somebody says, oh yeah I learned to, to heal um, and, and it took me um, six weeks and I'm teaching people now to heal come on guys you gotta understand that you know it's important that you get experience from experience from people who have spent years dedicated to that work when you understand how healing truly works when that healer shows you how to clear away the pathway so that you can follow that little simple things like I've just shown you now that little thing just one little thing out of the four days that I teach it opens you up to a new understanding and it blows you away to a sense that you can feel who you are you can feel if there's any issues coming into your body you can heal them very quickly so there's no they're no longer there and and you know I guess I'm living proof I don't suffer I, you know, since I started this work 16 years ago, I cleared irritable bowel syndrome, which is something that any doctor or any science paper will tell you is incurable. Well, I cured it. I cured it. Back. They told me that I'd never be able to bend and lift things again because my back was corroded. I can lift anything. So the body can heal if you know how to heal it. And it's important that you know how to not only just learn the techniques, but understand it, deeply understand it. Because when you understand it, you feel it. When you feel it, you can make it grow. When you make it grow, you become that energy. And that's the power of self-healing. If you truly learn from true masters, and a master is somebody that's done over 10,000 hours and I have, and there's many out there, and those are the people you need to be asking. Before I start learning how to heal online with you, how many hours have you actually practiced your healing work? Not years, because many people say, oh yeah, I've been a healer for 20 years. Yeah, but how many hours have you put in a week? Oh, well, I didn't really do many healings that week or that month or, you know, but I am a healer. Yeah, no, I'm more interested in, you know, hearing, well, actually, I was fully booked for eight years and to get a, an appointment with me, it might have taken three, four, five months. That's the person you need to be going to because they're the ones who actually did the work. So, these are the things that you've got to bear in mind. But this is a great start, okay? If you can learn to practice this every day for the next, let's just say two, three months. After this three months, I'm telling you guys, you will feel incredible and you'll realize the true art of healing. Many people talk about it, but many people don't really know how to do it. This is a beautiful scanning technique, one of many. And I've prepared this now for you. So the link below is very simple costs you nothing you just click on the link and do follow these instructions and I promise you listen to that music and you can open your eyes and you know just enjoy that music and then be the most amazing healer that you already are which you are I wish you a lovely day today till tomorrow from another beautiful um, destination not nowhere but from the beautiful um, two swans and a beautiful location feels all it, there's mist now some beautiful mist do you want to have a look some mist now can you see the mist just coming on the water so, that's so beautiful it's so magical 
And over there are the, the beautiful swans who just came to say hello. Fabulous, eh? And all the mountains in the background. Absolutely beautiful. So I shall get on with my work. Um, and I always like to do my best to share a video with you out of love. And uh, yeah, we need to grow through this. We need to become stronger than it. And I think if we delve in the cesspit of uh, breaking news and mainstream media, it's only going to make us ill. I think that's what it's designed for, ultimately. Breaking news is to break the spirit. All that's happening right now when it comes to um, all the leaders, all the um, World Health Organizations, all these people who claim to be uh, the savior of, of the world because of vaccines. I think, guys, you really need to uh, start to uh, practice the first principle of life, and that is to heal yourself. And today has been one of those uh, little inspirational moments for us to feel better. I mean, I feel much better now, feel great. What was it, 10, 15 minutes of your life? And you know, that sets you up for a good day, two or three days even more sometimes. But if you learn to practice that on um, a constant level, if you do it, you know, just before you go to bed, um, you know, it's like eating an apple. If you eat an apple a day, it keeps the doctor away. An apple, you know, you have no idea what an apple can do to you. It's got 10,000 amazing healing properties that heals the whole of the body. It's incredible. And it's true. That's why they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And if you do a healing, a self-healing a day, that keeps all the negativity away. In the mind as well, you feel so much better. You really do. Okay, till tomorrow. I'm sure I've missed something, but I wish you a lovely day and we've got the rest of our lives to uh, continue this journey and conversation. Thank you for going to Mark Bayerski brand YouTube and uh, subscribing there. We're up to, I think, 700 subscribers. Um, they are uh, having uh, some difficulties, of course, because uh, it's a brand new uh, site, but please uh, subscribe and come and say hello. And I'll do a few videos tomorrow, if I can, and upload them there. So it'd be nice to get you over there because I'm on my th uh, final strike on here. So it wouldn't shock me if this uh, site goes down very soon because they're really on a push now to stop anybody from even mentioning the word vaccine. So I think the algorithms are looking for anything that says vaccine or 5G and they're basically knocking them off straight away without even a question. So if that ever happens guys, you know I've got two other channels. One is Mark Bayerski Crystals, which would be a really good idea to go and subscribe now because you know I'm going to be there if this gets knocked off. And definitely brand new tube which won't get knocked off because they're not censored. And that's great. So I'm not doing any videos till all of the videos are uploaded there, which is 1000. So you can imagine we're busy at work with that as well. We're up to a few hundred videos now. As soon as we get to a thousand videos, you've got all of them videos that will never be knocked off because they don't censor anything that you say, which is amazing. And then from there, I'll be doing the daily videos because I think I'll be knocked off here pretty quick. I think uh, because all my friends have been knocked off all over the place who even dare to mention uh, anything about the dangers of vaccines, which is incredible, right? I mean, dare you speak about, oh, you could speak about anything else. Oh, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That, but ooh, you can't say anything about vaccines. Why is that? That should tell you everything, guys. That should tell you everything. It is the most sinister, evil thing and we'll look back one day many years to come and see how many people got ill and sick because of a vaccine that they claimed to heal people that doesn't heal anybody that doesn't heal anything only thing that does is cause great trauma and the body will absolutely never be the same body again that's my truth and I'm sticking with it and I'll say it till my last breath even if I'll get arrested or put in prison I'm telling you guys the vaccine is something that is not good and I promise you that's why people are becoming ill every day of the vaccine poison but they're not telling you that they're not sharing it they're not telling you what's going on right now but there's a lot of people becoming very very ill and it's permanent the rest of the people who are becoming ill is because their body is fighting it but you know what in time one week one month one year two years ten years it will catch up and that shit that's inside there and literally it's poison 
that guys will eventually take its toll on the human body and break it down so just bear that in mind have a great day love you all and why am i saying it because i love you and care for you i've got you know no there's no benefit out of this at all for me to say it i can shut my mouth and never say anything hey what's that gonna do if I, if I help save one person's life, then I will. That makes me feel good when I move back to the spirit world. I'll say I did a good job. I did my best. I was true to myself and true to my understanding of life. I used my brain, which means I studied vaccines. What's in it? I mean, for God's sake, if, if a chef has to tell you what the ingredients are, are in a cupcake, then why on earth can't we ask the doctor what's in a vaccine? Eh? is something very wrong right something very wrong and my um, my opinion is it's two things it's one about making a vast amount of wealth but more importantly to to help not only change humanity by the rna dna change but it's to absolutely cause confusion in a, a body which is perfectly beautiful and balanced and that has an amazing immune system if you change that then you cause illness for the rest of your life and then you will be uh, an amazing customer for the very people who shove the needle into your arm hey win-win for them lose-lose for us have a great day love you all take care